All right, here's the entrance to Manuel Antonio Park. We're uh, going to be uh, taking a hike and a tour through the jungle today. A black iguana. They make very good soup. They taste like chicken. Because that will be the sloth. Wow, if we see a hairball. Uh -huh. They're always high on the trees. The animal comes down from the tree once a week to poo. Digging a hole and bury the poo to skip predators. And that's where we got the idea to make latrines. <laughs> from the sloth. Good idea. Okay, there's a green iguana laying on the branch right there. That's what we're here in and Manuel Antonio Park looking for. There goes that very blue Costa Rican butterfly. Don't know what it's called. So Fabian, what's up there? Bats, like Batman, insect eaters. The best mosquito control. They're, it's the very there are two best. Of them upside down on the bark of the tree. On this nature walk, if you don't have a guide, you will not see half of the stuff they've got going. So, thank you, Fabian. Thank you for the small plants, and you can see the sky, and you can see the canopy of the trees. In a primary, you won't see anything. The trees are very tall, very high, and the animals is always. Okay, so you see how this this flower of this tree here, all these flowers are facing downward. That's so when the hummingbird comes up and he puts his beak in, his head is low, and the pollen will stay on his head. And then when he leaves this flower and goes to, say, one of those flowers over there, the pollen on his head will stick to the plant and pollinate the plant. So what kind of fruit is this in this tree? Mokuna. 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 It's face because it has a leaf that covers the head. But take a look and then I will go there to find a good one in a better position. You're, you're going to just go in there and scare the leaf. Guys, the monkey's here already. There's the monkey, monkey up above. Monkey, monkey. The first one for you guys. It went to that. Oh yeah. Where? Right. Sir, do you see it with your own eyes? I was I'm still looking. Okay. The trail is well marked. The, the beaches are down this way. There's an offshoot. You can go see something else. The uh, waterfall is up that trail there. But it's the dry season and there's no water. So you can do the half hour hike and see absolutely nothing but rocks up the hillside. Esta palma espinosa se llama porco espino, como el animal. Y de hecho, ayer vi uno. Yesterday, I saw a porcupine. It's an animal with the spikes. We call to this tree the same porcupine tree because it's a spiky tree. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It protects itself with the spikes. are very sharp. Happy day. Look at that. Yeah. And the monkeys that were here eating this fruit, the porcupine fruit, but they must be careful with the spikes. Look at the porcupine tree. If they touch it's the spikes, palm, bye bye. It's a palm tree. It's a palm tree. Palm tree with porcupine palm. No, no, no. That's pretty interesting. See how spiky this tree is here? So they call that the porcupine tree. It is a palm tree. You can see its leaves up above in the canopy. <laughs> All right, there's three or four monkeys now. And that's what the howler monkeys do. They scream, tell him to another group, and here, stay away. So there's a monkey. They call him cappuccino because of his coloring. Okay, so we're getting deeper into the jungle now. We're still walking down a pathway. But right there is a uh, termite nest. So they, they go up the side of the tree. You can see the black line on the side of the tree. That's the termites trail going up and that's where the termites are. All right, tucked inside here is another heliconia. There's lots to see in this jungle if you're looking. Okay, this big trunked tree here 
looks like it's about five feet in diameter. It is a Saba tree and it goes up. And some of you may remember this from the movie Avatar. There's a porcupine in this area here. They actually have a tail that will wrap like a monkey's and they climb. So it's a different porcupine than we have in the United States. I'd really like to see him. Okay, right down inside there is the common parakeet. Some people say it looks like an owl. A common paroque. Right, there's a two fruit bats hanging underneath the leaf right there. Hopefully you can see them. Butterfly. There we go. Oh, and there's another butterfly, a black and yellow one. Look how everything tries to reach the top of the canopy for sunlight. It's just a little black spot. Right there is two little fruit bats. You could see them through the spotting scope. This is a little bit better angle probably. So it's just a black spot, but there are, that is two fruit bats. I hope you're enjoying this video. I'm enjoying my nature walk. Here is the very famous butterfly. He came to give us a good show. So that, that's the tree the sloths like. tree, favorite food for the sloth. Free thought sloth. So right there on the ground is a bird that is nesting. So up here in the tree is a three-toed sloth. And the reason you know is there's everybody watching the three-toed sloth. So up inside this tree, there's a whole bunch of howler monkeys. It's mid-morning. They're taking their nap. They're going to come down and terrorize the town at about 4 o'clock. So your guide will get the scope set up and you'll get a great view up there of the holler monkeys. So, right through monkeys, there. Monkey see, monkey do. Uh -huh. Is a holler monkey. monkey business. Right up inside. So here's some yellow bamboo. Look, there's a big stand of it over here. I know two animals that like bamboo. Gorillas of Africa and pandas. Okay, check out these masks. Pretty cool. Lots of color, lots of light. Wow. Hey everybody. Check this out. I just found leaf cutter ants. Look at them right here. Taking the leaves down the tree. Ooh, don't stand in their trail though, Jim. Look at them. So it's a leaf cutter ant headed up this tree to trim their leaves. Okay, so right there, hanging from branch to branch, is the sloth. Let's go up underneath. There he is. He is in high speed motion right now. Is amazing. Wow, they move so quickly. <laughs> well, they might think it's quick. Hey, if you like what you're seeing in these videos, subscribe. There he is, he's turning his head our way. He's looking at me, smile. Okay, this beach is Manuel Antonio Beach. It is supposedly the most beautiful in Costa Rica. It's got in this nice little bay right here. It looks very calm and peaceful. Lots of, lots of people out there enjoying the water. And you know, I love the water. Check out this anchor chain. It's been growing in this tree for a lot of years. I've always wanted to find one like this in the ocean. I have not yet, but it will happen.
good things come to all that wait. So you can't get lost hiking through this jungle because it is a well-defined path. Ocean's right over there. El Hungolo is over here. Oh, look at that big termite nest on the tree right back in there. Wow. It's a very interesting place. If you ever get a chance to come to Costa Rica, Manuel Antonio Beach, or actually Manuel Antonio Park is the only way to get to this beach. There's a up close of a termite nest. It's in the branches of the tree. I don't see the trail up to it, but there is one. It is a crocodile. It is? All right, and then, and then here we go. Parque Nacional Manuel Antonio, Costa Rica. A filter. M protect the cities against tsunamis. It works as a sea wall. So the water that comes from the river and also the ocean tide pushes the water and create brackish water. That's what the mangrove like, brackish water. This is the house for crocodiles, caimans, snakes, birds, lizards, uh, shrimp, and fish. Mangrove is good for a sport fishing. Snapper, sea bass, snook. And also purify the water and release oxygen. Okay, here's a heliconia that's very close to a banana. Look at the leaves there. It looks like a banana leaf. Very beautiful tropical. Check out how this vine lays so flat against the tree. And those other vines are just climbing out. The tour. All right. Hopefully we, you enjoyed the tour. You were awesome with me. We took a trip today and, with Iguana Tours. And with the Rooster Tours. Thank you, Fabian. Thank you.